Welcome back. You guessed it. My name is Levi from Creekside Interactive or Paper Plane on Discord. And today we're going to start off on our new Errant Worlds systems. And we're going to take a little bit more time and actually go through uh, all of the parts and pieces one piece by one piece. We'll make the videos a little bit shorter so they're not quite so long and you have to skip around quite as much. You can just go from video to video. And on another note or an exciting one that I'm super excited, excited about. Uh, Paper Planes is officially going to be coming out here shortly. We're actually pushing for about two months uh, before the release on that one. And we want your help. We were actually wondering if you guys wanted to come in and play. So if you look down in the description, you'll see the Discord for Paper Planes, the official. And we will be giving away 200 keys for people to play. They will be limited for the duration of that uh, until the game actually comes out. But if you want to help us out, maybe get some videos with us uh, so we can put up some trailers, things like that. That would definitely be awesome. And also tell us what you think about the game uh, while we're playing. We pretty much play every day right now. If we're not deving on it, then somebody's at least playing. So there'll be somebody there. And that would be completely awesome. I'd love to see you guys there. So hit us up on that one. But for now, let's go ahead back into Errant Worlds and let's get set up. So we're going to start from the very beginning and we're going to take a little bit more time in this. And we're going to go through all the parts and pieces a little bit more thoroughly. So the first thing we're going to set up is we're going to actually start getting this installed into your computer so that you can use it on Unreal. And we're going to go completely through that from beginning to end. So our first part and the first place that we're going to start out is we're going to go to the errantphoton.com website. And you're going to be greeted by this wonderful screen they have here. And you can also click on some of these and get some of the... Uh, functionality and what needs to be done or what you can do with this program. But that's not what we're here to see. So we want to go all the way back up to the top. We're going to go for the free trial. Yes, we have a 30 day free trial. So if you'd like to try it, all you have to do is click on that button. It'll take you back down to the bottom. And there's a few, there's a little questionnaire here on what uh, information you may have to add in. And of course, since it's free, we're going to get all three of them because why not? And they work together extremely well. And there's another one down here called How Did You Hear About Us? Uh, that's a really good one for me. If you guys are interested, you can go down to the bottom here and put Paper Plane in. And that lets the dev know that you heard about this from me. And that helps me in making more videos. So definitely hit us up on that one. And also hit us up on Discord. If you've already gone through your 30-day trial and are actually ready to buy, I got you covered on that one also. If you look down in the description... I have a discount code there just for you. Uh, if you hit on that one, then you can go ahead and add in any of the ones you want to buy. And you will see we have here the paper plane discount of 10%. And they do stack also. So if you do want to buy more than one and you get, say, the landscape, you're also going to get, to get the bundle discount and the paper plane discount on top of that, which is really cool. And then if you get the paths, guess what? You pretty much get it for free. So you're going to get a 30% discount right there. Also, you can, uh, it does stack with any of the other things here as well. So you can stack them however you want uh, with all of the discounts. So after hitting the request button, after a little bit of time, you'll get three or however many uh, ones you are interested in emails. And they will have your license inside it. And right below the license, you will see a big red download button. And once you hit the download button, you will go into the download page, which will look just like this. And this is where we're going to go ahead and get everything we want. Right now we're using Unreal Engine 5.4. So we are going to get the 5.4 versions. We'll go ahead and download that one. So these ones on the bottom, the releases are the actual tools. And the ones on the tops are a little bit of extra content. And you can see here we have the, le the landscape material, which we are actually going to be using this time uh, because they just worked this one out and it's it looks amazing. So this will be something that you can get right here with this as well. So you have your own auto material and it comes included. So the first thing we're going to do, like I said, we're going to go for 5.4. We're going to go ahead and download that. And we're going to download the landscape material. Go ahead and download that one. And this one is for the uh, errant biomes. If we go over to our next one here, this one is going to be for our errant landscapes. We're going to do the same thing on 5.4. We're going to go ahead and download that. And we're going to, if we haven't got it yet, get the landscape material. But we also have another one here called Ans uh, Errant Landscape Stamp Library. So this is the actual uh, height maps and stuff that you're going to use inside this tool. So you definitely want to go ahead and download that one. And we'll go through installing those and getting them set up here shortly. 
And then we have one more here. So if we go to the last one, we have the paths here. We'll do the same thing. We'll go ahead and download the tool itself here. And then we can go up to the top. And if you haven't got the landscape material, you might as well get it. And then we have the errant paths asset library as well. So what this one is, is just um, assets as you can use. So I don't know if you're familiar with the biomes yet or the way that works, but once you put them in, you actually have a bunch of placeholder assets, uh, trees, rocks, things like that, that you can use to see what it's going to look like. And you can run it throughout the entire world. And since they're extremely low poly and very simple, they're not going to cost you a lot of resources. And those you can replace anytime that you want. Errant Paths has a very similar system, but with roads, bridges, uh, stuff like that. And once again, you just do the same thing. You just go ahead and replace them with what you want to add in once you get to that point. So once that's all said and done, uh, we'll go ahead and start installing. And I do have one shout out I want to do. So Oceanology is really kicking it right now. So if you go to Oceanology, you can actually see right now they have it on sale for $199.99. I would definitely check that one out if you guys haven't done it already because Oceanology is amazing. Uh, definitely worth the money there. And they are only going to have that sale until the end of this month. So you only have about four or five more days and then that's gone. So I would definitely check that out if you have the opportunity. So right now, let's go ahead and hop onto our desktop right here. And you can see that I already have everything downloaded. Uh, the top ones here will be the zip files. There should be six zip files. And then the bottom ones will be the... Uh, I didn't want you to sit around and watch me uh, extract all of them. So these will be the extractions. And we'll talk a little bit more about those here in a moment and why I wanted to show this the way that it is because some of these are worded uh, with pretty long tags and we're not going to actually use almost any of these files. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up our task manager. And then we're going to go into the folder that contains your Unreal Engine. So mine is in main storage Y, just because that's my largest drive that I have on here. Uh, generally on most of your computers will probably be on Windows Core or Windows C. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that one up. And here we're going to see the engine folder. We're gonna go ahead and hop in the engine folder. And from the engine folder, we have the plugins folder. So we have one down here called um, Marketplace. So if you've downloaded anything from the Unreal Engine Marketplace, then you'll already have this folder. If you haven't, then you won't have this folder, but you can go ahead and right click on it, go to new, add folder, and then type it in, capital M, Marketplace. And once you open that up, you'll see all of the Marketplace assets that you've added. These are all the engine assets. And we have another folder here called Errant Worlds. This one you won't have as well. So you'll have to go ahead and right click, go to file, Go to new folder and add in Errant World with a capital E and a capital W. And then when we open that up, you can see I already have mine installed here. All you would have to do on yours is go ahead and download them, then extract them out. Let me go ahead and just move these over here for just one moment. So go ahead and extract them out. And then what we're going to do, these are my uh, core files here or the tools. This side here is my um, assets. And we're gonna look at, say, errant biomes. We're gonna make sure that we open this folder and inside you have another one called errant landscape. That's the one you're gonna use. You're not going to use the extracted folder because it may have some extra wording here. Like this one has 1.3 with the whole tagline. We don't want that. So you're gonna make sure that you get the one that's inside here. And those are the ones you're gonna drop into your marketplace errant worlds folder. And once you're done with that, we can go ahead and start opening up the project. So I'm going to open up right now for Unreal Engine 4 and I'll get right back to you. So now that we have this open, we actually have all of our projects here. Uh, if you're not familiar with Unreal Engine, uh, this is your main area to open up new projects or create new projects or open up projects you've already had created. We're currently going to go into the Games tab so that we can set a new game. And we're going to go with the blank game template. So you can have uh, any of these that you want, but you can actually add them later down the road if you don't. Uh, if you do find that you need them for whatever reason, it's really easy to add those in. So we'll do that later if we need them. But for right now, we're going to go to the blank. We're going to add in the ray tracing, make sure we're on maximum. And we're going to give our project a name. This one will be called Errant Project. You cannot have any spaces but you can use underscores. So it, this is something that you will get uh, used to. Whoops, let me go back and do that. This is something you'll get really used to if you're new to Unreal using 
the underscores as a space. So right now we'll go ahead and create that project and that will load in all the shaders and that'll take a few minutes and then I'll get right back to you on that. All right, so we're in and currently we don't have anything working yet because uh, we have plugins and in Unreal, if you're not familiar with Unreal, if you install plugins, you have to actually manually enable them. So the way you're gonna do that is you can actually go up here to the little settings icon all the way on the top right. And you can click that and then underneath you're gonna see world settings and then project settings. So project settings is the one we're gonna wanna open. And once we go to project settings, oh, I'm sorry, I'm actually doing, I'm a little ahead of myself right now. So we're gonna go into settings and we're gonna go down below project settings into plugins. We're gonna go ahead and open that up. And then all we have to do now, if we did everything correctly, when we added it into the Unreal Engine folder, is if we type in errant, we should see all three of them pop up here. And then we can go ahead and enable them. And then it's gonna ask you if you want to restart now, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And that will go ahead and restart. All right, and now that we have that restarted, we can actually close this one down. Now we have all of them working here. So we have errant biomes, errant landscapes, and errant paths. And if we click on them, they should pop up. Yours won't look like this if you just installed them. So yours is actually going to have a authentication check. And in the email that you were given, you will have a license there or a serial number that you will want to add in and then hit OK, and then it'll do its thing and then pop up and you will see exactly what I have here. I already have all of mine installed. So that is perfect. Let's go back to selection. But we're not quite done yet. Currently, we have a brand new project and we have nothing added in here for the content. So we don't have any of the uh, assets that we need. So what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to close out the whole project. And then we have our assets right here. We have errant world, uh, basic landscapes. Uh, this one is the material. And then we have the stamp library. As I said, that one is gonna be your height maps. And then we have the path asset library. We're gonna do basically the same thing. We'll go ahead and open up our explorer and go back into, in my case, Y. And then we're gonna find our Unreal projects folder. So all the projects that you create, this is where that one will live. Generally, it will be in the Windows C uh, but for me, like I said, I'm using other hard drives. So I'll go ahead and double click on that one. And now we can find our project and our project right here, errant project. And then we can go into our content folder and you can see we don't have anything here in our contents yet. And the way errant works, we actually need a uh, main folder for all these to go into. So we're going to go ahead and right click, go to new, and we're going to create a folder called errant worlds. And then everything that's contained inside these folders are going to go into this one. So we're gonna go ahead and double click on that. And then we can open these one at a time. This is our basic landscape. And we'll go ahead and drop that one in. And let that one do its thing. And then we'll just do the other two. And now we have all three of them into this particular folder. So this is in the content folder, errant worlds, and all of those are set there. So now everything should be working properly. So now if we close out, we can go ahead and open our project again. Now we have two ways of doing that. We can actually go down here to the launcher or you can go to your Unreal Engine launcher, or you can go directly from your project folder. So if we go in and mine is in my Unreal projects, and I want to open this project. I can open this project specifically without having to deal with the, the launcher. All I have to do is just double click on the uh, U project here for that project, and that'll launch me right into that project. Awesome, so now we're gonna go ahead and just get a few things set up very quickly. Uh, so right now, this is the default map, and we are not actually gonna use this. This is what always comes up whenever you start Unreal Engine or uh, this is the blank template one. If you go into a first person map template, then you will have a different one than this. Uh, we're not gonna use this at all. We're gonna actually make our own map. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to file and then you can see right here where it says new level. It's the very first one. We'll click on that. That'll bring up the widget. And the one we're gonna choose is the empty open world. And the reason we want that is because we want to add everything into the level that we want but we want the open world because it will have world partition already added to it, which we will be utilizing. So we're gonna go ahead and double click on that. And we have our world partition right here so we can see that's working. 
And then once you finally open that one up, you can go ahead and control S to save. We're going to go into our content. We're going to add a new folder. And this is going to be our folder for our game. So we're going to call this main. And this will be our main folder. And to make sure that we know what folder this is later, we can also right click on it over here. Oh, no, we have to do it from the content drawer. We'll do that in a minute. So we're going to go main. We're going to add a new folder. This one's going to be called maps. And inside of maps, that's where we're going to add this one. So this will be errant underscore map. And we'll go ahead and OK that. Now, if we open up our content drawer down here, or we can uh, control space to open it. In Unreal Engine 5.4, I'm not sure why it doesn't close when you control space. It just opens, but that's OK. So we can actually right click on our main folder. So right here we have our contents. And when you go in your content main, you have your main folder. We'll go ahead and right click on that. And we're going to set the color. And the reason we're going to do that is so we can differentiate our main folder from everything else in the content store. So now when we go to it, you'll see that our folder is red. Everybody else is going to be regular. That way we can just get to it very quickly. You can also add this to your favorites. Uh, by right-clicking on it and just going ahead and adding to favorites. Now, if you open your favorite tab, you'll have your favorite places. Perfect. So the last thing we're going to do until we call this one until the next video is we're going to make sure that this is the level that always opens every time we open the project. And we're going to once again go up to the settings. And we're going to go down to the project settings like I was going to do earlier. And <laughs> I got a little ahead of myself. We'll go ahead and open that one up. And then if we go here, we'll see Maps and Modes. It's the fourth one down under Project. And we'll see the map here. You can actually see it's set to Open World. So every time you come in, you're going to come into the Open World default. We don't want to do that. We actually want to set it to ours, which is Errant Map. So we'll just go ahead and start typing in Errant. Click on Errant Map right there. We can open it up real quickly. Once we have it selected here, we can just hit the little arrow, and that'll set both. So now whenever you open up the project, every time you open it up, you're going to automatically go into the project, uh, or excuse me, you're going to open up the map that you want to go to. So that should set us up for next time. I'm going to go ahead and add a few more uh, plugins in that I'm going to be using. I'll go through them whenever we start. And then uh, we'll go ahead and start filling out the landscape on the next one. But until then, I'm going to call it for right now, and I will see you guys on the next one.